Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Simulator Classic video. We're back on the West Coast Ferry Line, still version 1.8, so it's not been an update since. Uh, and yeah, we're going to take a run along to West Worthing in just amazing 313. So let's get in. Um, we actually are good to go, so... Um, oh no, not that. Actually no, that is fine. I'll get that off and uh, we'll get going. There we go, let's um, quickly do this just whilst we're on the move. Uh, 28611. Uh, two, I can't really do it on this one. 28611. There you go, so we're not actually going to Little Hampton. I mean, in future, you will be able to go to Little Hampton on this one. Oh, we've just got a. Oh, was that a tab job? It might be a tab job. Quite possibly might be a, yeah there you go. So we'll get that up. Yeah, so this signals uh, the signals on this route actually are the AP enhancement pack signals. Uh, which are quite cool. There it goes. And you've got the really just smooth to well, actually no, you won't see the smooth change because it's red at the moment. Yeah, very exciting route build. I mean, especially for me as I used to live along this line and I've been on this line many, many, many times. Uh, so it's great that it's finally being made. Oh, I look much closer to that bridge there, but no. Out we go. Cool. And we'll whack that up. So we are going to be calling it. Well, I think it said all stops. So all stops. If I get this wrong here, that's going to be embarrassing. Uh, Hove, Aldrington, Portslade, Fishersgate, Southwick, uh, Shoreham by Sea, Lansing, East Worthing, Worthing, and then West Worthing. So we've got a. We've got to get a rigger one. I think we're we'll doing to West Worthing in about half an hour's time. Well, slightly less than half an hour's time. <clears throat> it's about. What about, about maybe 11, 10, 10, 11 miles? Let's have a look. It's not actually that far to... Yeah, 10 miles. It's not It's not that far. There's just lots of stations within that 10 miles. I mean, if you went non-stop, you probably could get there in, well, about 10 minutes. There we go. But yeah, these, it's, it's, uh, these trains are soon to be just memories because uh, they are... Unfortunately, after 13 years of service on the coastways, being uh, retired. Well, not just 13 years on the coastways, they've been going on for 46, 47 odd years. Uh, but their time is, is finally coming to an end, sadly. Well, not sadly for quite a lot of, probably for commuters, not sadly. But for rail enthusiasts, sadly. <laughs> I say they are just nice little trains and they're they're different as well. You know, you get on the really modern Electro Star, you get off to change trains at somewhere like Barnum, trundles along one of these things. It's like, oh it's great. Here we are. If you haven't seen the uh, sort of West Coastway one point eight first look, um well, I'll show you something which uh, was a little personal recommendation by me to see. Uh, and George has very nicely put it in as well. I shall show you in a second. Here we are. This is Hove. Now, if you would like access to this version of the route, it is in the Discord server. Can you just not put that to... Uh, that's what you have to hold. And there you go. Um, but yeah, you've got the Conway, uh, Conway, oh, is it Conway Road, Conway, St Conway Street, Conway Street, um, bus garage here, <laughs> which is awesome, just to see it, as a little, uh, yeah, personal, uh, recommendation there, cool, uh, right, doors are closing, should have, there should be guard, got a guard on here as well. I think we probably ignored, yeah, probably ignored him at Brighton. 
And it is Aldrington next, which is in just under half a mile. Not far at all. And we're off. Let's get that up as well. Yeah, it's looking good so far. See, at the moment, as I've said, it is cab scenery. It's basically what you can see from the cab. Um, and there are, I think it was at Shoreham. No, Southwick to Shoreham doesn't have any scenery yet. But it did, but then it got all corrupted and, yeah, all a bit messy. So there's no scenery in a couple of places at the moment. Um, although, soon to be scenery. We are coming in a bit quick. Alden's got, it's got a tiny platform. I think, it is, I think it's just about four coaches. Not Possibly not even four coaches, actually. No, yeah, definitely four coaches. It's an absolutely tiny platform. Yeah, so there is places, you know, about stop markers and stuff at the moment. Uh, but then this is... Sort of, yeah, sort of early access. So... And it's a free route as well. There we are. Oh, I love that sound. Love it. Yeah, this is uh, all. There's no station signs either because this is um, a Steam Workshop route, uh, and on the Steam Workshop you can't have custom assets and station signs count as custom assets. Um, so there's no no station. I sneeze. There's no uh, station signs. I think I'll just put that into. Oh no, we're fine. Um, but in future. Uh, the developer has said he will uh, most likely have his own website version. Um, as in that can then have custom assets. Oh, I do love free on free. Let's get back in. Port Slade next. I probably could do this Hudless. I mean, I, I do know this route fairly well, speed-wise. I think it is 70 literally the whole way. Uh, but I know sort of the locations of, of stations quite well and sort of what to look out for when coming up to stations. But now we'll keep it on because I mean, it might be your first time seeing this route. And I think this is the Olive Road which uh, comes up relatively soon which goes above us. And yeah, if you have got any feedback on the route, if you are local to this route and you want to provide feedback, do. I mean, I'm sure George probably might be watching, but feel free to join the uh, Discord server. Um, as I said, it can be a bit of a battleground at times. Um, but yeah, feel free to come in. Um, we've got the Train Sim channel in there. We've even got the West Coastway sort of updates channel in there. So feel free to pop in, drop a bit of feedback if you are local. Little tiny things. Um, yeah. So as to make it the best it can be. I, mean, I suppose, yeah, think about it. In a year or two's time, this route could be, I suppose, you know, something like payware quality. You know, something you'd expect out of, uh, you know, JT or AT Alan Thompson Sim Just Trains. Could be something like that. You never know. Or another another thing which could happen. This I suppose this route could be picked up by one of those larger companies, and then worked on. But it's great that you know we've sort of we've got this so far. It's it's fantastic. It's a route I'm sort of surprised hasn't been done in train sim already. I, I think there is like a a UKTS Southern Lines or something, but there's like no scenery on it, so not really fun. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to sort of have a, you know, what we've got at the moment. No, 
I've stood at this level crossing many, many times. You've always got like two, three buses waiting either side of it. Because <laughs> you've got quite a few bus routes, which, uh, well, actually not quite a few. I think you've got the, oh, I think it's the 46 and the 6 which go through there. I think it's the 46, yeah. Now Fisher's Gate, which is a bit, I love seeing the uh, Shoreham Harbour sort of uh, tower there. It's nice to see. See, walking between Port Slade and Fisher's Gate takes. Hmm. It's thing. If you've walked at a good pace, probably 15 minutes. In this, probably about 30 seconds. So, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't take uh, two ticks really to get between the two. Oh, yeah, this is uh, Fisher's Gate. Cool. So I think the plan, sort of the long-term plan for this route is to uh, uh, get it to, um, well, I suppose Little Hampton, Little Hampton, Silent T. Uh, yeah, get it to Little Hampton, which I suppose is sort of a, yeah, a good chunk of the uh, of the route. Now I think sort of the longer term is to get it to Portsmouth Harbour. Um which either means redoing the scenery of the Portsmouth direct line in the game or trying to um merge the routes together. So merge in the well I suppose probably the newer Portsmouth direct line with this. So if anyone knows how to route merge, do uh that signal is having a bit of a disco back there. Do uh, feel free to, I suppose, uh, message George because I think he was uh, looking at sort of how he could route merge the routes together. So if you know, that would be a massive help. And it will be Southwick next. Basically, no, I would say Southwick and Lansing are the ones I'm not really that familiar with. I'd never got off at Lansing. I've been not sure I've got, but more got on there quite a few times after doing the Downs link. Um, Fisher's Gate, yeah, been on there quite a lot of times after cycling down to Brighton. Uh, or just cycling, meeting friends. Uh, Port Slade, another one. I've been there absolutely tons of times. Hove, I was there the other day, Aldrington, I don't think I've actually ever got off at Aldrington. But I have been, you know, right next to the station quite a few times, but I just haven't got on or off there. Um, uh, yeah, Southwick, yeah, I've never really, I don't think I've actually ever got on or off there. Um... Like same with Lansing, they've already got on or off there. East Worthing, I've got off a, a I think just once actually. Um, so you've got the superb range uh, store, which is just about a two, three minutes walk from it. So I have um, got off there before. Worthing, got off there quite a few times. And West Worthing, I don't actually think I've ever got off at West Worthing. So most of the stations I am fairly familiar with on, on this route. Oh, hello. After I to notice, we're uh, scraping the platform a little bit. Hello, people. Southwick. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, this is one of the bits which doesn't have scenery. Um... Yeah. Not ready. Wait for the, uh, the bell. And we're off. Yeah, 
Yeah, by the time you are set, I don't know when this video will be going out, but there might have actually been another update to this. So I'll try and get it out quite quickly. Uh, I suppose before there would be an update for this. There you go. Yeah, so I think this is sort of similar to what the UKTS version of this route is. It's just like this. Just, well, there's not a lot to see. Which, you might enjoy that, but... I mean, for the sort of whole stretch, I don't think I would enjoy that. As I've seen uh, a couple of people... Oh, excuse me. Um, do the uh, full run between uh, Brighton and Littlehampton, but th th there's no scenery. So it's like, well, what's the point? <laughs> quite a long stretch, I suppose, between Southwick and Shoreham. Yeah, it's quite a quite a stretch. At least as opposed to what we've had so far. Though Southwick, to be honest, is is sort of. I mean, it's not that Southwick isn't part of Brighton. No, I don't think so. no Southwick is uh, Southwick's West Sussex. Yeah, I was when when you think of Southwick, I think Brighton, but it's not. It's it, I don't think it is part of Brighton. Uh, Port Slade is sort of the, the the final one. Well, Fisher's Gate is the final one before you then sort of leave the area of Brighton. But to be honest, I'd, I probably would count Southwick as Brighton. But then they sort of after that, it start getting a bit longer. The uh, distances. is uh, Shoreham by sea so we would be passing well a bit further back you'd be passing the Dunelm it's a big Dunelm uh, store here in Shoreham which uh, it's always good to go to and there's also McDonald's as well and quite a lot of it is yeah, basically for, for about a third of that stretch between Southwick well, actually probably a bit more than that uh, between Southwick and Shoreham it's, it's basically just an industrial area or an industrial complex you've got a bnq a dunelm a halfords mcdonald's uh just sort of all on that sort of row uh let's actually try to sort of figure out where it would be i'm not sure if the level crossing's been added i'll be past this yeah so probably around here there's the level crossing let's press t does it not count as being on the platform? Oh, we'll just skip it if need be. Yeah, you've got a level crossing here. And then the McDonald's there with a the drive through uh, And then up there you've got a B&Q. And then imagine the road just here. And you've got a Dunelm there. And then the sort of... There's even a skate park as well. The sort of road comes around if you just follow the cursor. Um, I think it's Ham Street or something. Then comes off here. And then goes right the way along and joins up right there where the station is. And there's like, a, like one of the biggest co-ops I've ever been to. is like in a little area sort of there. I don't know how well you could see that, but use your imagination. Right, let's go. I don't think it didn't count as um, stopping there, I don't think. So we will skip Shoreham. Well, not skip it, but skip the objective. It should change as well. There you go, Lancing. This is a very nicely done part of the route. Especially just, yeah, the little detail of the, um, the Stenning line going off there. That's nice. And then we'll get what we get here. We'll get a nice, um, nice shot of it going over the Ada Bridge. So it's quite an impressive bridge. Well, I mean, ish. It's not like a massive, it's not like Glenfin and Viaduct, but it's still, it's nice, especially sort of when the uh, river's sort of out at low tide. And you can just hear the motors screaming as it crosses over and sort of the Lansing side. Now that signal's not attached at the moment, I don't think. I'm assuming it is supposed to be sort of attached to sort of the row of signals, but it's not at the moment, so we can ignore that. Seems like the AWS uh, magnet is, though. That went off. 
Oh, I can get that open. I've actually ever done that, but yeah, okay, get that open. As we head along, cubicle door. There we go. Well, the one thing we do need on 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 here is um. I'm sure there's no, there's no Hastings on this list. There's all though. Uh, it would be cool to see the bit between Eastbourne and Bo Peep Junction uh, in the game. Or at least between... Well, yeah, I suppose Eastbourne. Uh, and uh, what's the junction above Hamden Park? Oh, I can't remember that now. Oh, I can't remember the junction. What it's called. It depends on a W, I think. Um, yeah, it'd be cool to see the... Um, yeah, between Eastbourne and... Ham uh, Eastbourne and... Uh, um, Eastbourne and Bo Peep Junction in the game, which is sort of where West St. Leonard's is. Because uh, then you could then have. Well, then you could do sort of a full massive circle. Although I think someone actually is. Uh, we're well, using TSW and Train Some Classic. I think someone actually is working on the Marsh Link. And it's about a couple, yeah, a month or so ago. Uh, one of our mods um, actually did send me a uh, sort of a page from a the ATS Facebook group, and oh, we don't want to stop there. And uh, yeah, someone said they were working on the Marsh Link on there. So and there were screenshots as well. It looked like it was quite, you know, a, a bit in. So uh, that's quite exciting. Someone is doing that. I don't know. How progress is getting on with that. If any, if you watched any, you know about the Marsh Link. Comment below. Yeah, very uh, another exciting project. Not as familiar with the Marsh Link. Been on it once or twice. I think possibly just once. I remember it very well though. That's a very scenic, picturesque group. Right. Just to excuse the yawning, I'm recording this quite late. It's um, just gone 10 p.m. as we're recording this. I don't know for some it's not late, but for me it's like whoa. Hammer off. Oh, what a lovely sound. How can non train uh, how yeah, how can non train enthusiasts just not like the sound of train motors? It's just they're they're lovely. It's not the nerdiest thing we've ever said. <laughs> on on stream. No on, on video. The sound of train motors are lovely. They are. Although we don't care about that sort of stuff here. We like trains. So. Now we come up to East Worthing. Let's, uh, let's pop that down. Go. Yeah, so basically to the left of here you've got the massive range uh I don't know what you'd call it really. Home home store, yeah. That's a bit of the range home store. That'll sort of be on the left of here. It's quite industrial as well. But this is East Worthing, so you've got some scenery along that stretch. Well, it's coming together. Oh, a little bit further. A little bit further. Uh, 
There we go. So yeah, as I said, work in progress all of this. Um, so yeah, I'm sure probably in the next video see of this, it will be of the next version. So I'm assuming by then you'll probably see scenery on this stretch here. I know at the moment Worthing's being worked on. I know, yeah, Worthing's got a lot more clutter now. There's a lot more scenery. I think even West Worthing and to Worthing has sort of been been done. Uh, but yeah, do join the Discord server. You don't have to, but if you want to. Um, and we have got a West Coastway channel in there specifically for the route for updates on the route. Uh, which George uh, regularly posts in. So if you want to see what's being worked on, what's being done, then uh, feel free to check that out. I do like promoting this route. I mean, as I said, it's it is one of my uh, local routes, so uh, it's great to see it being, you know, being made. And uh, Worthing next. And yeah, past Worthing, well, past West Worthing, you'd have Durrington on Sea, Goring Vice Sea, Angmering, Ford, Barnum, and then Bognor Regis, uh, and also to Littlehampton, uh, which would then, I suppose, just be Angmering, then Littlehampton. But then trains from Brighton don't go to Bognor Regis uh, direct. Or even, I don't think, no, no trains coming on the West Coast where you go down to Bognor. This is like a really early morning service which does that. Um, but yeah, if you if, if there's a service to Bognor, so I think Bognor Regis is part of a different phase for the route. Um, actually, yeah, trains which go to Bognor, you've got the Littlehampton to Bognor shuttle. I think the Barnum to Bognor shuttle. Um, and yeah, trains coming down the Arran Valley line uh, go into Bognor. I think every every half an hour. And then you've got the shuttle as well. But trains coming along here mostly, yeah, Littlehampton. You know, one's coming down from Victoria as well. Littlehampton, they, they go there instead of Bognor. I think we're scraping the platform a little bit again. Rubbing it. Giving it a bit of a rub. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's Worthen. And then West Worthen is uh, just up there. The land of many buffers at the moment. It's some sort of uh, van at the finale. Tuesday, 10pm. Royale Bucket. Brighton. Nice. Guard? Yeah, there you go. There's the guard. A little bit of horn for you. Hopefully you actually have been able to hear it alright. As um the last video I recorded was Omsi, and usually it's quite loud on there, so I had to turn down the audio. Should be able to hear it all right, though. As we come up to West Worthing. So yeah, I think from here it would be about another sort of half an hour. No, not... Mm, so probably, possibly slightly less than another half an hour to Littlehampton. No, it probably, no, probably is about the halfway marker. Yeah, p possibly sort of, yeah, about the halfway mark. Well, no. I think, yeah, probably less time ways, but distance, I think it probably is about halfway. Because Littlehampton's quite a way out. That's about another sort of 10 miles or so. And t Brighton was only 10 miles back. A little bit of cheeky full service. Throw the passengers around a little bit.
there we go. Well, that is going to be it, everyone, uh, for today's well, West Coast Way video. Hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, links can be found in the usual places Discord, PayPal, merch. Job. Big thank for George to allowing us to show it off uh, from the server. So, awesome. And I hope we'll see you in the next one. Actually, this was a scenario by George. So, thanks again. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.